Hello, I'm Olaf Hauptmann. I'd like to tell you a bit about the new church. The new church is a church or religion for thinking people, for people who like to make sense out of their life and make sense out of God. If you don't care about making sense out of these things, then the new church might not be for you. But if you do care about making sense, and especially if you're one of those people who get really annoyed with nonsensical answers, then the new church just might have something for you. A good answer can be like a stepping stone for our mind and our thinking. A good answer allows our thinking to take one step forward in its development. And so a good answer expands our mind and allows it to develop. A bad answer, in that sense, is counterproductive because it keeps our mind from going forward. A bad answer provides no foundation or stepping stone for our thinking. We find a particular example of a bad answer in traditional Christianity. According to traditional Christianity, God is one and three persons. Now that doesn't make sense to anybody. How can somebody be one and then three persons or individual people? Either you are three people or you are one. You cannot be both. It doesn't make sense to anybody. In the new church, however, we teach that God is one and that one person is Jesus Christ. This is an idea that makes sense. This is something that we can understand this is something that we can hold in our heads if you read through the Old Testament as well it says God is one and if you read through the New Testament you find Jesus saying I and the Father are one not three people or two people but one and Paul says about Jesus Christ in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily so they're not three, they're one. This is what the Bible says. This is what God wants us to understand. And this is something that we can understand with our minds. Because it's logical and sensible. You might say, whoa, this is a bit disturbing. This is new from what I've been told all my life. And that's how new ideas are often are. They might be a bit disturbing to us. But I encourage you, allow yourself to think this over in your mind. Read through the Bible and meditate on it. And I think that you will find that it makes sense. And when you are comfortable with that idea, then I encourage you to search for the new church. Look it up. Ask for the writings of the new church. And in them, you will find more answers. If you are one of those people looking for good, sensible answers, you will find them in the new church. I wish you the best of luck.